Find it two ways A cross B cross C. This is one and the A cross E cross C. The result here is B times. E dot C minus C times A dot B. Here the result is B times A dot C minus A times B dot C. Therefore, these two products are not equal. So, the associative law is not obeyed by the cross product. We will prove it using a relation identity involving the Levis Abita symbols. The identity is epsilon i j k epsilon i l m is equal to there is a sum over i. So delta j l delta a M minus delta J M delta K L. So this is identity involving Davis Abita symbols, which will be used to prove these two identities identity one and identity two. Okay, so let us start our proof. So, A cross B cross C. Let us denote this by D. So, D I is equal to epsilon I J K E, J, and B cross C, K. Or you can write D, I equal to epsilon I, J, K, E, J, and kth component epsilon K, L, M, B L C M. Here we use the cyclicity. Cyclicity means this I J K I J K I I J K I. That is cyclicity. So I J K I can replace by K I J. So this is equal to epsilon k i j epsilon k l m a j b l c m. Now we put the identity here. Here is the sum over k. So delta i l delta j m minus delta I M 
delta j l is in bracket then a j b l c m let us take sum over k i l j m i m j l a j b l c m so this is here let us put i instead of l in the first term using this we replace l with i so b i then delta j m a j c m minus the second term we replace m with i so using delta i m we can replace m with i so c i the delta j l a j b l but this is just dot product because there is a sum over j and sum over m so this is dot product this is again dot product because there is sum over j sum over l so let us write it as b i bracket a dot c minus c i a dot b this is d i this is true for all values of i this is true for all values of i that is i equal to 1 2 or 3 so this one equation a can be written in the vector form as as t equal to d equal to b to a dot c minus c into a dot b. So that way we prove our first identity. b multiplied by a dot c minus c multiplied by a dot b. That is equal to a cross b cross c now let us prove the second identity what is the second identity second identity is a cross b multiplied by cross c let us call it e so we get e i equal to epsilon i j k then a cross b a cross b i then a cross b j a cross b j multiplied by c k now we can expand this then we will get equal to epsilon i j k it's the j component so epsilon j l m a l b m and then c k now here we use cyclicity so what is cyclicity i j k i j k i j k that is cyclicity so i j k we write j k i so this we can rewrite e i equal to epsilon j k i 
JKI epsilon J L M A L P M C K. Now we we can use the identity involving three index labels with a symbol here. So this is equal to delta K L delta I M minus delta K M delta I L and then A L B M C K. So this is equal to let us replace M with I here, the first term. So B I delta K L A L C K minus in the second term let us replace replace L with I. So A I delta K M B M C K. Now you see that this is dot product because there is a sum over k, sum over l. This is also dot product because there is a sum over k, sum over m. So finally, we can write as b i here a dot c minus a i here b dot c. All values of i in the vector form we can write e vector equal to b vector multiplied by a dot c minus a vector multiplied by b dot c. So this way we prove that uh, e vector so that means uh, finally you can write a cross b bracket cross c is equal to b times a dot c minus a times b dot c that means we have proven the second identity and also what we have proven is that in general we have proven that in general d is not equal to e that means when we multiply a cross b and then multiply it with c we get e and uh, if we multiply A with B cross C, then we get D. And these two products give different results. So, thank you for watching.